Hello, in this video, we are going to look at um, equations of lines. Uh, before we dive into writing equations of lines, let's look at a graph of a line. If we're going to graph this line, y is equal to 1 fourth x minus 3 halves. Um, remember, this is the slope, this entire thing, 1 fourth, and this is the y-intercept. So to graph this line, we'd go to three and a half or minus three and a half on the y-axis, which is one negative one point five. So it's right here, and we'd go um, up one and over four because slope, remember, is rise over run. So from here, go up one. So you're in between um, zero and negative one at negative point five, and over four, one, two, three, four, and there is a second point. Now. Two points is enough to make a line. So if you have a straight edge, use one. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and try to make my line as straight as possible. And that's the equation. That's the graph of this line. To write an equation of, of the line, um, you know, you could, there's really a lot of different situations um, or things you could use or need to write an equation of a line. Um, but it comes down to either you need two points. or you need a slope in one point. Oops. For the most part, when you are trying to write an equation of a line, the question you should always start by asking yourself is, um, what is the slope? Or we'll say, find the slope. That is almost always what you will do um, with um, writing equations of a line. Sometimes it's really easy um, because it's just identified. It's just what's the slope? Well, they tell you the slope. Uh, for instance, in this question, it says find the equation of a line through the point 1, 3 with a slope of 2. Okay, well, the slope is 2, they told you. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Um, so point slope form. Point slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. It's one of the more underrated equations of lines um, or forms of equations of, of a line. Um, we don't use it a lot, but it is very quick if you have a slope. So this is m is 2 and a point. So x1 is equal to 1, and then y1 is equal to 3 in this case. So this makes our equation of a line y minus 1. When you see this minus, just think change the sign is equal to 2 times x, oh, I mixed up my x and y, y minus 3, sorry, and then x minus 1. Okay, so that is an equation of a line in point-slope form. You do not have to simplify anything. That's valid for the equation of a line. Um, Slope-intercept form is maybe the most popular Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And let's just change this to slope intercept form. You can do so by distributing 2x minus 2 and then adding 3. So y is equal to 2x um, minus 1. So now we have slope intercept form. And then standard form. Um, standard form is ax plus by is equal to c, where a and b are integers. So um, a and b are integers, or no fractions. And then normally a is positive. So here, if I want to put this in standard form, the x's and y's have to be on the same side. So I subtract 2x over. And then if I want to make a positive, then let's just change the sign to everything. So then 2x minus y is equal to 1. And this is standard form. So those are all three equations all for the same line. So they're all the same equation, but they look different. Okay, we're going to do a number of problems that deal with writing equations of lines. I would encourage you to pause the video often and try these on your own.
and then use the video to check your work. So this says solve for y in this. So we're going to leave in y equals mx plus b form, in other words. So we have a point and a slope. So let's use point slope form uh, to start this. So we have y, it'd be plus 1. Remember to change the sign is equal to a slope of 6 and then x plus 3. And so that's an equation of a line, but we were told to solve for y. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, y plus 1 is equal to 6x plus 18 when you distribute. And y is equal to 6x plus 17. Okay, pause the video and try the next one if you haven't already. Uh, this time we want a line that goes through these two points. And your first thought is always slope. Okay, well, how can I find slope? Slope is rise over run. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And just be careful with your signs here. Uh, 6 minus 3 and then negative 5 minus 2. So we get 3 over negative 7, it looks like. Um, and so that would be negative three-sevenths for your slope. And so we can use the same method we did above with the point-slope form, but another uh, method is to find B or to solve for B. And so to do that, let's pick X and Y. And this is a popular way to do this. So that's why we're, we're showing you. So 3 is equal to, and then you know the slope is negative 3 over 7 and you know x is 2, and then plus b. Okay, now this is kind of a funky fraction, so you might need to use a calculator for this, um, but it's 3 is equal to negative 6 over 7 plus b, and then you need to add three over or 6 over 7 to both sides. Um, when you do that, that's 21 over 7 is 3, plus 6 over 7 is equal to b, and so b is... 27 over 7. And so y is equal to mx plus b. And there is the equation of that line. Um, if you would have plugged it in like you did up here and distributed and then just add the point over it, you would have gotten the same um, equation. Okay, this next one throws another um, kink in our system here. So the line goes through this point and is parallel to the line through these two points. Okay, so parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. And so once again, whenever you think about writing the equation of the lines, I think, okay, well, how can I find the slope of the line? Well, in this case, you know, it's parallel to this. So if you find the slope here that goes through these two points, then that's also the slope of your line. Okay, so we have an equation for that. We'll write it again, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And be careful with your sign, 6 minus 2 over negative 2 minus 6. And so that's um, 4 over negative 8 which is negative one-half for the slope. And then let's do the point-slope um, method again. Um, so that'd be y plus 4 is equal to negative one-half and then x minus 2. Uh, but we're still going to solve for y, but this is an equation of a line. It's valid. Uh, let's go ahead and distribute y plus 4 is equal to negative one-half x and it'd be plus 1. And when you subtract, I'm running out of room there, subtract 4, um, you get negative 3. And so there's slope-intercept form for that line. Okay, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes.
And so that means to change the sign and flip the fraction. And here we're going to do something different. We're going to write it in standard form. So line L is perpendicular to this and goes through this point. Okay, so I need to find the slope of this line. So to do that, we can write it in y equals mx plus b form. Let's start by adding 3x over just to kind of show one less step. So 2y plus 5 is equal to 3x. And then subtract the 5 minus 5 and then divide by 2. So y is equal to 3 over 2x. And this is all I really care about. Um, it's minus 5 over 2. But I don't care about this because I just need the slope of this line. So if the slope here is 3 over 2, then the perpendicular slope, which is what we want, and this is a little symbol for perpendicular lines, is negative 2 over 3. Okay, so we have a fraction, but that's okay. Um, we go, it goes through this point here, so we can use point slope form to get us started. It'd be y minus 7 is equal to negative 2 thirds and then times x minus 2. And then we can distribute negative two-thirds x, and this would be plus four-thirds, and you can use a calculator if you need to on that. And then we're going to add seven. So that would be plus four-thirds, and then plus seven is 21 over three. And you can use a calculator to add seven or um, do it this way, and you end up with 25 over three. And then we want standard form. So let's move the x to the other side because standard form has x and y all on the same side. And then we said we don't want any fractions. So let's clear all those out. To clear out all the fractions, we can multiply everything by 3 over 1. And so here the 3s just cancel, and that leaves you with 2x. And then here it's 3 times y, which is 3y. And then the 3s cancel on the right side, leaving you with 25. So you have standard form. Um, you can also do this from the graph. Once again, think about what, or write the equation on line from a graph. Uh, think about the slope. How do you find slope? Well, you can count here. You could do the slope formula because you have two points, but let's count, and these are we're going to assume these are one anyway. So if I go down two and over one, two, three, four, then my slope is negative two over four, which is negative one half. I can also see my y-intercept is right here at two. So b is two. So y is equal to negative one-half x plus two. And then one last one. We kind of did this in number six, but let's do it on its own. If this is your equation, then in, write it in slope-intercept form and identify slope and y-intercept. So slope-intercept form, that means y is equal to mx plus b. So everything needs to move over. We'll do it in a couple steps. Let's move the 5 over. And then let's add x. And then let's divide everything by negative 2. Now make sure you divide everything. So it would be negative uh, 1 half x and then positive 5 over 2. Uh, you could also write it as negative x over 2 plus 5 over 2, and that's fine. Okay, reach out if you have questions, and good luck writing equations of lines.